Hey guys, so this is the last uh, video about ancient pie flies, uh, last from the series of four, if, if I'm right. Uh, it's going to be about this fly, and this fly is a bubble puppy from Theodore Gordon. It's not a real pike fly, but it's evidently the first of all modern, pat modern patterns of this type. Uh, I mean, uh, the first modern streamer, if you want. And Stellar Gordon, known as a father of uh, American dry fly, uh, some even say he's a father of American streamers and bucktails. This fly is not a, uh, the bumble puppy name Gordon used for some sort of variations. Uh, there is uh, not one specific dressing for this fly, and there are at least 20 no variations of the bumble puppy. His name, which is the literal translation of the whist, the, the card play, the whist without rules. So it was uh, the fly of constant change during the Gordon life. Uh, he died 1915, born 1854. So it's from the first of these are from the second uh, half of the 19th century. Uh, and Gordon constantly trying to catch uh, some pikes and this kind of fish on flies. So, so I took this like a, like a last ancient, even if it's not the ancient, but as a, as a milestone of a, of a new era and of a, of a streamer era which uh, which came after and is up uh, to these days uh, are we using much bigger flies this fly we died on a size uh, two or four or two or four uh, on a long shank hooks uh, during the Gordon's lifetime these hooks were not available, but they tied in our four or six size. So a shorter, a shorter, but the, the bigger hook. Um, yeah, I'm. I think I can start. I, I'm going to use size four. This is some old hook, long streamer, uh, size four. This one is coming from my friend Juan Jose Tejada from Dominican Republic. So I hope Juan, if you can see this one day, and I'm going to use your hook here. So this looks like a, a very, very big wet fly. So hook size 4, some long streamer hook, the thread is only thread 6-0, a black one, because we want the, the classic black head, uh, start uh, cover the hook a bit, going all the way back, and we're going to tie in the silver tinsel. Don't use uh, really thin and don't use really uh, narrow, narrow and not really wide. Something in the middle. It, it, this this one can have like one millimeter, maybe one and a half. So tie this in and just make few wraps here. Thank you. 
as I said uh, there is at least 20 variation and this one uh, is tied by one the mate of Thor Gordon I now I will not now get the name I can write this under the video in the description uh, but it's it, it's coming from uh, from the time from the days uh, now we're going to add uh, some red red floss red silk can be if we can stay true it's a short piece tie this in and make a uh, some kind some kind of tag in this version this these will be almost covered by the, the red feather so it's not that important however it's is there now I'm going to use a turkey red dyed turkey two strips place side by side and tie in like not really long just short like one and something centimeter and now first do a couple of loose wraps two or three and then tighten this okay. not bad and secure this here trim this secure I'll put the varnish here just a drop and I will put the varnish on the hook and I will make a bit of weight with a lead wire because I'm going to fish this with a floating line I also read somewhere that this is a great fly for night fishing or trout can't tell you. So just a few wraps of uh, lead wire, not too much, and cover this. Now you're going to use a, a Chanel, or I was thinking about the ostrich, but the original is the Chanel, and I'm going to use. It's called the arm. Art, but you can buy this in uh, fly shops and we are going to make a one wrap with a, with a yellow one and then the white and this one is it's called uh, suede su suit I don't know it's coming from French probably and it's really uh, rich you know if you take a look on on this classic it's much less uh, fibers than uh, in here, but I like this more. This su suede, I don't know. Uh, sorry. So uh, re remove the the fibers from the end and tie in the the bare st uh, stem or the bare you know cord and make a one wrap. Maybe two. We can go for two here. Just for try. Here I will secure this. I will trim this and remove again the the fibers which can be removed. Okay. Secure. Now tie in once again the tinsel
the same used uh, on, a, on a track and uh, tying a, a piece of the white channel so again remove stripers oh sorry tie this in okay we're going all the way front and start to wrap in this white chanel okay this is i think this is enough or maybe maybe one, one more one more um one more wrap so if you will read my article about the ancient pie flies you will see that the the pie flies didn't change much for two maybe three hundred years um, on the other hand, nowadays it's a real boom. You can you can see, you know, tons of uh, different pike flies. We're going to wrap the tinsel like five times above and secure this. Trim this rubber varnish here. Now there should be a wink, and a it can be a polar bear. I was in a shop today and I found a white one there, or you can use a bucktail. Maybe you can use also some Arctic Fox White if you don't have one of these. But the, the original description says that it's a polar bear or the bucktail, so I'm fine with the bucktail, white bucktail here. So take a clamp. You don't need too much. And Prepare, prepare a clamp of this first. Something like this, maybe it can can even be less. And you can stack them to the same length. I don't. And tie this in. Uh, Tying this similar length as the as the feather here. So once again one or two loose wraps and then tighten this. Okay and then don't don't break your thread here. Uh, okay, sorry. Just give me a sec. That's fine. Trim this and trim this here. Keep it on on the top, and I will add a varnish here, and I will. Secure this carefully so it will not move. Okay, I can go more here and 
Yeah. Now I'm going to use uh, a silver badger, which I didn't know what it is, but I found that this is a uh, one specific color, or at least I think, right, uh, of a rooster hackers, and it's something like this. Or this been cut, the, the neck was cut. It's pretty sure it's coming from a, our village, a friends was my father gave, gave it to my father but they really cut the short neck so I have this one is more yellow than it should be probably but it's this kind of effects uh, on, a, on an inside part there's dark and lighter so I took a one bigger heckle and tied this in From this and I'm going to make just few wraps of this hacker. It's not going to flo flo uh, float this so just make some kind of wraps here and secure this. Now I'll secure this more here and trim. Well, put the straw, cut it in on a on a thread, and I will keep my echoes back like this, and I will cover all this. And you can probably use some hand hacker because they can be soft, softer than the rooster hackers. Um, now I'm going to tie in the the wing on the Tarki uh, short no it's not it's a Tarki broad wind quills and this one is bleached white and I will just cut the same like being cut it here like almost centimeter on one side and the same on the other I'm tying this by one by one, tying in. I found it better than pot. And I, I will tie these the same length, like or maybe a little bit shorter than this. Okay, so tie one. It's not the best. Just the opposite. These are a bit uh, bigger than before, as you can see here. I think it will be fine. So, the opposite one here, the same length. From this, and I'll varnish again and secure it. Put a varnish before I put a lot of thread, so the varnish will be inside. Okay, so last two things, you're going to make some kind of color and Tom uh, Taylor Gordon says that it's a teal or vision 
probably that and but I don't have these I'm going to use the mallard feather and I'm just going to take one big feather and from a, one half take this and make a make a make a lex uh, from this so put all the ends the same and remove okay and you don't need really too much it's just less than a half of the of one bigger feather and now I just simply I'm tying this the length of the the white part here about and I'm just lightly losing uh, loosely uh, wrap it in and I will distribute these okay it's, it's stuck to the, the row I will distribute these around Okay. We're starting to build in the head. Trim the rest. Build the head. And you can build a pretty big head. Big uh, black classic head. But Last but not least, we're going to tie in the, the jungle cock feather. Well, okay, uh, I'm just. Oh, that's better. Okay, the movie recording stopped, but I'm back and I'm going to fix this. There's maybe too much of the. Order and uh, yeah, I'm going to that's just fine. I'm, I'm going to tie in the last but not least. Uh, I'll just move the, the straw on the body. The wing is really too big here. I will trim this part. Here. Okay, looks better. But, um, I'm going to tie in the jungle cock, but I'm going to use substitute. These are substitute jungle cock, not natural size 20 millimeters. And it's usually size sizing. Uh, sorry, I'm with the camera also like ML. So this will be probably L. So remove it, just uh, printed on a foil. And I will tie this in wall. So just the end here, one and the other. Okay, unfortunately there's some kind of groove on this but you can remove the groove or it's not the, the really strong groove and shape the head I have some varnish here from before this so shape the head can be pretty big head 
and we'll make a one, two, three. Add a varnish. I'm going to add a lot of varnish. I like the on these classic flies. I like the shiny head. This varnish is not the shiny. It's standard. It's not the shiny cement or something. But I will make some effects if you put there enough. So I will let it dry now. For a sec, so. so that's it. Uh, Bumble Puppy from Toyor Garden, end of the 19th century. Uh, last of my pike flies, ancient pike flies. I know this is not the ancient pike fly, but it's a first of the the new era of the era of streamers, or real streamers, and also bugtails. Uh, for they've been using this for big trouts and the steelheads maybe and and salmons, but they accidentally uh, been catching the pikes and I read somewhere that Toro Gordon been interested on in, in uh, fly fishing for pikes, so. Choose this fly. Uh, yeah, I, I repaired the or I made the, the addendum to my Kenmore Pike video uh, with a better desc describe it fly, and that says that the fly had three and a half inches, which is less than nine centimeters. This is pretty small, at least for these days, for a pike fly, but you can, and you probably know it, you can take a pretty nice pike on, on this fly. So, that's why I choose this fly, and that's it, I will finish the article, and maybe, I, I hope it will be published on, on, a, on a web, and I will then include the link to the article with more pictures, and more flies so that's it for now and good night my